All right, guys, today we're talking about 3D scanning and some solutions for the problems it already has. It's everywhere now. There's a lot of affordable scanners on the market and uh, some very expensive scanners on the market, and they still, most of them, all inherently have a problem, and that is the technology itself. We're reflecting light off a surface, and when you have black or dark or reflective or transparent objects, that produces a very big problem for almost every scanner on the market. And we've got a solution that solves that problem. Available now at visionminer.com slash ASUB. That product is ASUB Scanning Spray. So we've got six different kinds here, and let's talk about why this is so useful. So most of the products are aerosol sprays. They come in a standard can like this, acts just like spray paint. Very, very simple, easy to apply. Uh, and then there's, there's some other solutions out there. You've probably seen foot spray or chalk spray, uh, even baby powder being used, and those can totally work. The problem is, most of the time, they leave a huge mess, not only on the part, but in your facility. It'll get all over the place, and then you gotta clean it out of little cracks, and you know sometimes you can't even wash your part, and so that can be a really big pain. Furthermore, these other solutions can damaged parts. If you're doing leather or lacquer or paints and things like that, they can potentially harm the actual surface. Uh, even more, they can build up unevenly and then what you scan isn't even going to be accurate to the actual part. Uh, little bumps and little build up areas, just, it just doesn't work that well. Now with ASUB, they've done something amazing. All of these sprays, except for this one, uh, actually disappear all by themselves with zero cleaning. And in fact, there's scientific studies showing how little residue is actually left, and it's basically nothing. They've got a few different blends, and they all disappear within a few hours. Uh, they call it sublimation, which is defined as the transition of a substance directly from the solid to the gas state without passing through the liquid state. And this is what allows it to dissolve straight into the air, and you don't even have to wipe anything off, because it literally turns straight into gas, and it's just gone. Now, I'll get into the specific micron thicknesses of each of the sprays in just a moment, but ASUB really works just by creating a matte, light-colored surface on any part, which essentially makes a good projection screen for any scanner. And then uh, something else to note is all the colors of ASUB are actually the same color. They're all just white. Uh, ASUB blue is white, orange is white, green is white. They're all just white except for transparent, which is transparent specifically for use in scanning full color. So how much do you get out of a can? How long is one of these things gonna last? They're about 400 milliliters, and with that, you get about four square meters spraying it on really thick. It's also got a five-year shelf life, so you don't really have to worry about not using it. It's just really good to have in the tool chest. Now, it's designed to work in all applications with just about all scanners, you know, so from automotive, engineering, aerospace, uh, tooling, fixtures, giant uh, machinery, architecture, plastic, art and design, R&D work, uh, it, the list is pretty much endless. But the biggest thing is really how it sublimates into the atmosphere. It literally disappears completely with virtually zero residue on the part, which means you don't have to clean your parts after scanning and you're not getting a bunch of powder paint into the crevices that you gotta dig out. And you know, that's one of the biggest pains in scanning is the cleanup and this just reduces the amount of work necessary so significantly, it's been a huge, huge advantage here in the office. Moving right along, ASUB is non-destructive on most surfaces and materials. Uh, there's some cases where we don't recommend using it, like if you're doing you know, ancient art pieces from a museum, you probably don't wanna risk spraying that with anything. Uh, some lacquers can be uh, reactive, um, and then things like suede, you don't really wanna do. Now, I've done my Jeep in leather, it's full leather interior, and it, there was no damage whatsoever, uh, so that worked out really well. Uh, but you can even use it on optical devices. This is a really crazy part. With lenses and sensitive instruments, because it just turn straight into gas, uh, you, you know, you don't have to worry about damaging the equipment. Um, also worth noting is that unlike other products on the market, again, there's no titanium dioxide, which means it's a lot safer for the workplace and you can get it in places like California. 
Okay, so ASUB does come in six different versions. Basically, whatever your application or need is, there's gonna be one of these that's gonna work out good for you. I'll start with ASUB Blue. So ASUB Blue is, again, white, uh, but it lasts about two to four hours. It completely disappears. Now, I've noticed that if it's like 85 degrees out and you're outside, you've got about 20 minutes. Uh, so it can go a lot faster. But the layer thickness is about eight to 15 microns, and it's pretty much your best overall. If you're scanning inside an office with AC, it's not getting you know over 75 degrees or so. It'll last about two to four hours, and this is gonna be your best overall use. Next, we've got a sub orange. Now this one lasts a little bit longer, about 12 to 24 hours, and I've actually seen it last about 36 hours in an AC cooled room. But the real advantage to this one is not just lasting longer, but the thickness is thinner at only two to six microns. So if you need a little bit more time to scan the object, like a big object or something like that, or you want a little bit thinner of a coating, then the orange is gonna be the one for you. Next, we've got green, and this is really gonna be for the huge objects. It does disappear in about six hours or so. It's a little bit thicker at about 10 to 20 micron thickness. So this is actually designed to be used with a spray gun like this. You actually fill up the hopper, and then you're spraying stuff like cars or boats, uh, we've done entire yachts, uh, huge objects where you got to cover a ton of space uh, and you don't want to break the bank or use a ton of aerosol cans, then this is the stuff you're going to want to get. And then it's, this actually comes in one liter and five liter cans. So that's uh, something to note there. Next, we've got a sub yellow. Now this one evaporates super quick, about 20 minutes or so, but the thickness is less than one micron and it's designed to be used with an airbrush system. So just a little pump and an airbrush. This is for your metrology level scans where you need super high detail down to the micron level. Next, we have a sub transparent. This one disappears in uh, just a few hours. It's also super thin, but it's clear, it's transparent and it's really just a dulling spray. So it's designed to get rid of reflections. If I spray this on something shiny, it's just going to make it non-shiny, but you can still see all the colors through it. So maybe you're doing a uh, headlight housing and you want to see the texture beneath or a glossy object that's painted underneath the gloss and you want the full color, but you need to scan it. This stuff is pretty good. It's just a doling matting spray, basically. And lastly, we have the uh, odd one out of the bunch, which is a sub white. Uh, this is, again, a white spray, but it does not disappear. The layer thickness is about seven microns, so it is nice and thin, but this is more like a chalk spray where it's washable. It's not gonna damage anything. Uh, it is, you know, very thin and homogenous still, but if you need to do like a giant piece of machinery, and it's gonna take you maybe a couple days, or maybe you wanna come back and do it again, and it doesn't really matter if it's coated, uh, then this would be the stuff to go with because it'll last and it'll just make everything scannable. Again, we do have all of this in stock today at visionminer.com slash ASUB. And if you're interested in becoming a dealer, definitely check out ASUBUSA.com. So now let me give you a little practical demonstration of uh, the ASUBs. I'm just gonna show you what it goes on like. I'll start with the blue real quick. And we'll do, I'm gonna do a really close spray and then just a nice, you know, 12 inches, 15 inches away. That's how that works. So you can definitely see it builds up, but it still goes on really thin. And this one, it's gonna be a little bit lighter. It's not quite as white. We've also got the white. And of course, the transparent. Yeah, so as you can see, this is the blue is the brightest white, and then the uh, orange is a little bit, a uh, little bit slightly more gray, but I can see here, I can literally tell that it's thinner. It's, it's very interesting how it's just a little bit thinner. And then of course the white spray, you know, it's interesting. I think the blue is actually more white than the white. This is kind of a 
uh, more blue color. <laughs> and then the transparent. You can see right there the dot where I was right up next to it. You can see a little bit of residue, which will disappear shortly, but most of it's totally clear. You can't even tell it's there. Anyway, if you're interested in getting some of this for yourself or your business, check out our website at visionminer.com where we've got scanners, scanning sprays, pyramid markers, and everything else you need to start 3D scanning, as well as a ton of engineering grade 3D printers, filaments, and other accessories. So let us know what you need and we'll help you find out the right thing for your application. And with that, leave any questions down below or give us a call, shoot us an email, hit that that subscribe button. Either way, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day, and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> ah, sweet.